currently we are looking at meeting the evolving needs of the customers. Um, you know, right now, post COVID especially, people are a little bit more health conscious. Um, you know, you look at the um, cleanliness, the hygiene. People are a little bit more uh, careful with the travel and needs. So. Uh, this is where the, uh, where the hotel is concerned. You need to, you know, uh, engage in a little bit more hygiene, sanitation, uh, driving exercise. Uh, that also is uh, one of the key elements that's been uh, looked into. And um, they are also now looking at more sustainable uh, tourism, uh, whereby you know the community-based uh, tourism is something which is pretty much uh, looked into. Um, we also talk about the um, short term in the sense of domestic tourism where people are relatively now exploring in uh, community base um, and they're looking at the, you know, where our country, you know, we have a lot of uh, beach resorts um, from beach to mountains to even, you know, to what you call as uh, kampongs or village. Um, stay so that is uh, homestay related as well so yeah uh, the other one is um, we're looking at um, the other challenge that we are facing currently is the shortage of manpower as we know uh, I like to call it a talent deficit um, so we now need to map and revisit how we have to utilize the um, you know uh, technology and digitalization uh, with such systems that would, again, as I mentioned earlier, it would definitely complement the uh, shortages of um, staff that we have. And at the same time, uh, what we would do is uh, it is also um, a provider to make it a bit more efficient, a bit more seamless, <clears throat> where guests are actually um, what you call that as um, the guests get to book themselves online um, and it's a direct uh, reservation.